salespeople have to write, that you have to have that, that content which enables me to arrive at the conclusion that you're somebody I should be having a conversation with. Hello, welcome back all my strategic selling group members, uh, all my uh, sales masterminds and everybody that follows this Talking Sales series. Really appreciate your support and welcome back. I am delighted to have Adam Gray with me again. Hi. Last time we talked about the importance of social mm. in sales. This time, I'd just like to hone in on one area you focused on a little bit, which was what I'm calling a personal brand. Absolutely. It, it, social gives us an opportunity to really put ourselves out there, doesn't it? It does. And, and I think that the thing that we need to recognize is that people jump to conclusions. And uh, when people look at your digital footprint, which they inevitably will do when they're recommended to you or they're introduced to you or you reach out to them with the telephone or an email or whatever, the first thing they're going to do is check you out. And then I'm going to look at your, your digital footprint, so which will largely be made up of your social uh, presence, so LinkedIn, Twitter, maybe Facebook. Uh, they'll look at that and they're going to jump to a conclusion about you. And the job of that is to make sure they jump to the conclusion that you want. In reality, what people see on the internet is your brand. Absolutely right. And yet so few of us actually make sure that brand projects properly. Yeah, well, I, th I think often we fail to invest in it. We fail to invest the time in, first of all, thinking about what it says about us, and secondly, in actually aggregating that and producing the content. That's, that's, I'd like to hear input on, on when you're thinking about it. Mm. I mean, that's thinking through the strategy for building your brand. Absolutely. What are the sort of things you focus on? Uh, well, we, we try to get people to visualise how a visitor to that profile, what conclusions they're going to draw from reading about you. And one of the things that we see time and time again is that people, uh, they fail to, to articulate why they do what they do. They often talk about what they do. And so the Simon Sinek, Sinek stuff. Absolutely, you know? yeah. Why so, so why do you get up in the morning at 7 o'clock and then go to work and work all day? You spend more time doing your job than you do with your no, life We're not talking partner. about making money or no. selling. We're talking absolutely. about something the, else. The passion that you have for what you do. Uh, and that needs to come across because if you're not passionate about it, why should I be? So clarity around your purpose. Absolutely, Clar perfectly per clarity around your purpose. Um, and how do we articulate that? You know, so often we see a, a simple list on people's presences about what it is they do and what it is they've done. I don't want a bullet pointed list of things that you do. And the reason I don't, or the reason that you shouldn't want me to, is that it invites comparison. Because if you say, I've been doing this for 20 years, and I say, well, I've been doing it for 25, therefore I must be better than you. <laughs> and that's the conclusion. You're asking for a comparison. And, and you don't want to be pe have people comparing you for the years you've been doing it, because that proves nothing. Uh, the amount you charge, because that proves nothing. Uh, the number of clients you've got, because that proves nothing. Absolutely, you have to be saying, this is me. This is the most authentic me. This is the value that I give you, the visitor. Okay, so there's two words there I like. One's mm. authentic. Absolutely, and I agree yep. with you. you know, we, one of the issues I know a lot of the sales leaders and salespeople I work with have is that they felt like they had to pretend they're somebody they're not to be successful. And, and we have to work that back because there's nothing more refreshing and, and compelling than somebody who's authentically who they really are and present that way. You can trust them. It's the most attractive thing that anybody has is who they are. So that's not, I, I agree with that mm. one. The other one you mentioned was word value. Uh, I think one of the things we we really need to understand is what our unique promise of value is to our target customers, target audience, whatever we want to talk about. Absolutely, that's that unique promise of value, and get clarity in that, right? Yeah, yeah. We need to, we need to handhold these people through the buying journey because the, the the thing that we often uh, assume is that the people that are buying from us know as much as we do about our subject, and they don't. That's why they're coming to us to sell to them. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to empower them. We need to share some of our expertise with them, not all of it, but some of it, to upskill them to the point that they can make an informed decision. So you do that by having some sort of content strategy, Absolutely. writing, maybe, yeah, it's videos crucial. like we're putting together yeah, now. This stuff all helps establish you as being somebody that knows what they're talking about. So you're saying salespeople should write? Salespeople have to write. You have to have that, that content 
which enables me to arrive at the conclusion that you're somebody I should be having a conversation with. Let's not dwell on that subject, but that's that's an interesting subject. Okay, so let's just sum up a little bit. If, if we've mm. pretty much got to the end there, so you you were saying to me, and the sort of things I picked up on uh, is is we need to we need to think strategically about what our profile is, who we are. What, who we are authentically, yeah. our authentic self. We need to identify the value we bring to the table for the people we work with, particularly our customers, and we need to make sure then we develop our profile that reflects all that and then underpin that with good, insightful content that it will be of value to our target audience. Absolutely right. I like it. I'm uh, really glad to have this discussion. Thank Look you. Look forward to the next one. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks.